fourth grade module one lesson 19 homework using the diagrams below create your own word problem solve for the value of the variable number one so number one they've given us the outline of a word problem and we just need to fill in the blanks so it's going to kind of work number one they'll start out by giving us a lot of the word problem number two they'll give us a little bit more and by number four at the bottom we're going to be completely they're just going to give us some numbers and we're going to have to come up with the entire word problem so the first one is the most simple so at the local botanical gardens there are how many redwoods blank redwood so here's redwoods right here 6294 and how many cypress trees 3,849. There are a total of blank redwood, cypress, and dogwood trees. So that, the total here is 12,115. How many dog, I think what we want to know here is what the A is the variable. How many dogwood trees are there? Dogwood trees are at the local botanical gardens. Oops. So now we need to solve. There's multiple ways to solve. I'm going to start by figuring out how many redwood and cypress trees there are. So I'm going to add these two together. So let's add 6,294 plus 3,849. Four plus nine is 13, carry the one. One plus nine is 10, plus four is 14, carry the one. One plus two is three, plus eight is 11, carry the one. One plus six is seven, plus three is 10. So we get 10,143 redwood and cypress trees. Now, if we wanna figure out how many dogwood there are, we're gonna subtract the total here from what we know. So let's do 12,115 minus 10,143. Five minus three is two. 1 minus 4, we cannot do, we need to borrow. 11 minus 4 is 7. 0 minus 1, we can't do, so let's borrow. 10 minus 1 is 9. 1 minus 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is nothing. So we end up with 1,972 dogwood trees. Number two, number two, there are 65,302 blanks. There are 37,436 fewer blanks. How many blanks? So let's look at the tape diagram we have and see what we're trying to figure out. So we know that we have 6,532 of something. And then we, what we wanna know here is this total and this, the difference between this tape diagram and this tape diagram is 37,436. So let's think of something that might be made in large quantities, um, like shirts maybe, some t-shirts. So let's say, let's start with the top number, 65,302. So let's say there are 65,302 red shirts. I'll use red, red shirts in a factory. So here's the red shirts. There are 37,436 fewer blue shirts than red shirts. So here's blue shirts. How many blue and red shirts? So we want to know the total here. 
let's say how many blue and red shirts are in the factory. Okay, so let's start by figuring out how many blue shirts there are. We're going to do that by taking 65,302 and subtracting the difference. So let's do 65,302 minus 37,436. So 2 minus 6 we can't do, but I can't borrow from the zeros. I'm going to borrow from the 2. That becomes 10 and 9. So we get 12 minus 6 is 6, 9 minus 3 is 6, 2 minus 4 we can't do. So that's 4, and this turned into 12 minus 4 is 8, 4 minus 7 we can't do. Borrow from the four, 6, make it a 5, this becomes 14 minus 7 is 7, and 5 minus 3 is 2. So we have 27,866 blue shirts. Now if we want to know the total number of shirts, let's add the red shirts and the blue shirts together. So 65,302 plus 27,866. 2 plus 6 is 8. 0 plus 6 is 6. 3 plus 8 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 7 is 13, carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 2 is 9. So there are 93,168 total shirts. Number 3, use the following tape diagram to create a word problem. Solve for the value of the variable. This time they're not giving us any blanks, we need to do it all on our own. It looks like we know just about everything except for A. So A is our variable that we're solving for. These are pretty large numbers, so let's think of something that uh, could be sold in large numbers. Um, maybe like you're at a hardware store, they have large quantities of things. So let's say that a hardware store like Home Depot or something, sold, let's see, so their total amount of sales, they sold 215,561, let's say they, so that's their total, they sold 215,561, what, what would a hardware st store sell? Um, they'd sell, let's say, hammers and nails, and wrenches. So the total of hammers, nails, and wrenches that they sold was 215,561. Now, let's see, let's say that this 42,086 is the amount of hammers that they sold. Now, the next part, we need to figure out, so, maybe, so this is hammers. Let's make this the wrenches and this the nails. So how many wrenches did they sell? Well, they, it looks like they sold 36,538 more wrenches than hammers. So they sold 36,538 more wrenches than hammers. But what we really want to know here is what is A, what is, or nails. So let's say how many nails were sold. Okay, now we can actually start solving the problem. 
Let's start by figuring out how many wrenches, because we know how many hammers, and we have the information we need to figure out how many wrenches. So it's 36,538 more than 42,086. Let's add those together. Not 32, 36. Six plus eight is 14, carry the one. One plus eight is nine. Plus three is 12, carry the one. One plus zero plus five is six. Two plus six is eight. And four plus three is seven. So we would have 78,624 wrenches. Now let's add that to our hammer total. Four plus six is 10, carry the one. One plus two is three, plus eight is 11, carry the one. One plus six plus zero is seven. Eight plus two is 10, carry the one. One plus seven is eight, plus four is 12. So we get 120,710 120, hammers and nails. So now to figure out the, or hammers and wrenches. Now to figure out the nails, we just need to subtract from the total. So let's take 215,561 minus 120,710. One minus zero is one, six minus one is five, five minus seven we can't do. So let's borrow 15 minus seven is eight, four minus zero is four, one minus two we need to borrow, 11 minus two is nine, and one minus one is zero. We get 94,815 nails. Number four, draw a tape diagram to model the following equation. Write a word problem, solve for the value of the variable. We have 27,894 plus a plus 6,892 equals 40,392. So this is just a straight tape di one tape diagram. We have three parts, 27,894. Then we have A and 6,892. And we know that the total is 40,392. We just need to know what A is here. So let's think, let's think of something in terms of money. Let's say that there were three friends, maybe, who um, got summer jobs and each made different amounts in their summer jobs. Let's say Sarah, Dana, and Amy. all got summer jobs. Sarah made 27,894 dollars. So we'll call this Sarah. I'm going to make Amy the A. So let's say Dana made Six thousand eight hundred ninety-two dollars, and then their combined total was this forty thousand three hundred ninety-two dollars. So let's say how much did Amy make? Okay, so let's start by figuring out how much Sarah and Dana made together. Let's add 27,894 plus 6,892. 9 plus 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. 9 plus 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 8 is 17. Carry the 1. 
1 plus 7 is 8, plus 6 is 14. Carry the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. So we have 34,786. That's how much Sarah and Dana made. Now, if we want to figure out Amy, let's take that total and subtract it from how much all three girls made together. 40,392 minus 34,786. 2 minus 6 we can't do. 12 minus 6 is 6. 8 minus 8 is 0. 3 minus 7 we need to borrow. 13 minus 7 is 6. 9 minus 4 is 5. 3 minus 3 is 0. We could say Amy made... 5,606 dollars.